Hey, what's up guys? So I'm building a TV lift cabinet and this is something I've been working on for a little while. I'm building this to match the storage bed that I built for my bedroom a few months ago. And this is taking a little bit longer than it should because it's a sponsored project and there's a few moving parts in the video that I have to take care of. But anyway, I'm just about finished with this and I had the total nightmare scenario happen with the paint job. When I was painting the storage bed, I felt like I, I could maybe get a better brush paint job. So I started to look into paint conditioners and I ended up going with something called M1 and um, maybe it's a great product, but it just didn't work for me in this, in this scenario. And I didn't read the instructions either. I kind of did it all by eye. I just poured a little bit in, mixed it up. That's how I um, kind of do everything with paint and lacquer. So what happened was I did the same steps that I always do. I filled all the nail holes with joint compound, sanded. Then I primed with Benjamin Moore's Fresh Start. And then I went to finish the cabinet with the um, Ben Moore Semi-Gloss Latex Trim Paint. Thinned a little bit with the M1 Paint Conditioner. Put a coat of the paint on it. And I thought it looked pretty good, but it needed, needed another coat. And uh, the second coat, all of a sudden started to blow up in my face. As I was painting it on, it's like the paint wouldn't stick to the cabinet. So as I paint on, I'd pull it off and it started to gum up and then coagulate and it just turned into a terrible mess. So I got about three quarters of the way done with this, this side of the door here. This is actually an access panel, but it's meant to look like doors. And then I just abandoned the whole thing and frantically tried to remove the paint with a wet rag and a clean paintbrush that I was dipping in water and just kind of getting it all the paint out of the corners and I cleaned the whole thing up and then like an idiot I thought well maybe it'll work on the cabinet and then the same thing happened on the cabinet and I spent you know a couple of minutes trying to get that paint off and then once I got everything off I thought well maybe I'll just scuff the paint up a little bit and then give it another coat of fresh start uh, primer and same scenario, I'd put the paint, the uh, primer on, and it wouldn't really stick to the surface, and it started to gum up and coagulate and become a mess. And again, frantically trying to remove all the paint. And then the way I fixed it, the, the last thing I did is I ended up running to the hardware store and picking up a quart of uh, shellac-based bin primer. This is something I've been using for years. It's shellac-based, which means it's... Uh, got a solvent and the solvent is denatured alcohol so it generally sticks to just about anything it's not very easy to use though it's it's kind of easy to make a mess with this stuff the paint tends to fall out of the the back of the brush so keep that in mind when you're using it but anyway um, I then primed the whole cabinet and the doors again with the bin primer and that took care of it I've already, the night, another nice thing about the shellac based bin primer is it dries really quick so you can keep working. I was able to get a coat on the cabinet, maybe 15 minutes later I was ready to uh, put the finish coat on it and everything worked. I ended up using the Ben Moore semi-gloss, but this time I didn't condition the, the paint. So anyway, I'm telling you this because it's just one of those things that's just such a kind of a drag to have happen and a, and a big waste of time. Um, so that's it, really. I just want to let you know in case you come up uh, against something like this in one of your projects. Uh, one thing I want to mention about the bin primer is it's almost impossible to wash the brush when you use a brush in this stuff. And you should really use a natural bristle brush. Don't use a nylon brush. So what I do is I take the paintbrush, I cut the handle off so it will fit into a container. I pour a little denatured alcohol into the container, keep the lid on it, and you can often use the, these brushes for months. When you take the brush out and before you use it, just take the brush out and kind of work the uh, denatured alcohol out of the brush and you should be ready to go. So anyway, I hope this helps. And this video, this, this TV lift video should be on my channel in hopefully two or three weeks. I will be posting a video on Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, on the kitchen cabinet. People ask me all the time about the outdoor kitchen, where does it drain? So I'm going to be answering questions like that and also how the kitchen did over the, over the winter, how it weathered 
And I'm also going to add a few more coats of finish on the countertop. So I hope you'll tune in on Sunday for that video and I'll see you then.